Thank you for staying with us. Hundreds of spiritual Shouter Baptists will celebrate their religion on Wednesday. Trinidad and Tobago is the only country in the world that has a public holiday for the spiritual Shouter Baptist faith. And as Reverend Dr. Hazel Ann Gibbs de Pisa tells us, it wasn't easy for the faith in the 1900s as they were viewed as committing a crime by worshipping loudly. The faith has grown since that time. The spiritual Shouter Baptists are now free to worship without the fear of being condemned for it. Mahalia Joseph has more in this story. When we arrived in Maloney, the National Congress of Incorporated Baptist Organizations of Trinidad and Tobago was nowhere close to finishing their preparations for the holiday on Wednesday. They prayed and blessed the grounds to ensure that the day would be smooth. Come on, sing with me. The spiritual Shouter Baptist faith can be found throughout the Caribbean under various names, but according to the organization's chairman, Rev. Dr. Hazel Ann Gibbs de Pisa, the name spiritual Shouter Baptist is indigenous to Trinidad and Tobago. It is comprised of elements from the Protestant Christianity and African doctrines and rituals. The origins and early development of the faith in TNT are not well known, but the consensus is that the religion developed among the people of African descent during the 19th century. She said the Baptists were banned from worshipping publicly in 1917 because it was believed that they made too much noise. So for our noisy worship, they put a ban on us and it was illegal to be a Baptist. So they criminalized us at that point in time. And of course, the, the, the history is, and as it is recorded in... Uh, wine of astonishment. It was beat and arrest, so, and we had no recourse. But things for the faith changed in 1951. They passed the repeal of the prohibition order, and that would have been after a whole lot of lobbying and, and, and pleading and assistance from people like, people like Buzz Butler and, and all of those people of that time. So in 1951, they passed the repeal, and that's what we celebrate. Reverend Dr. De Pisa said in the times before the repeal, the Shouter Baptists had to worship in secret. In the past, whenever you needed to go to a Baptist church, you had to go somewhere far up some mountain, down some valley, through the bush, through the mud. But now, we have churches on the main streets in the various villages and towns. But even in 2016, there are still some who think the Shouter Baptists still make too much noise. Well, we still have some resistance in some communities. You will still find that. We still have resistance even in workplaces. You, you still find that. But the thing is that now that the, the repeal was passed and we are free to worship, we realize that there are other churches that are making more noise than us. And... They don't have to suffer the fate that we suffered. The term Shouter Baptist was given to the Baptists because of their tendency to shout, clap and sing loudly during their religious services. It was a term imposed on them by mainstream society. Leading up to the holiday, the spiritual Shouter Baptists hold revivals and they pray and fast to celebrate their victory to worship freely. Mahalia Joseph, C News.